My name is Panik Tahim, I'm the Graduate Recruitment Officer at DLA Piper and this is CU TV. Uh, my name is Panit, I'm the Graduate Recruitment Officer at DLA Piper. Um, DLA Piper are one of the world's largest full service commercial law firms. Um, we operate in 30 countries um, and 70 offices uh, split between those countries. As part of the graduate recruitment team, my role is recruitment and selection of the trainees within the UK. Um, we take on about 90 a year across our eight UK sites, which are London, Liverpool, Manchester, Sheffield, Leeds, uh, Edinburgh and Glasgow. It's incredibly varied, which is, I think, one of the attractions of um, being a commercial solicitor at a firm like DLA. And it can be anything from attending client meetings, writing letters, um, doing some research. Um, plus, they get a lot involved in quite a lot of pro bono and CSR activities as well. I think. One of the th things that people like about coming to DLA is definitely the international aspect because it gives them the chance to get involved in obviously international work but also to go abroad. Um, for example, we offer secondments to, um, at the moment, Dubai, Moscow, Hong Kong, Singapore and Bangkok for our trainees and obviously as they progress through their careers a lot of them will continue to, to travel internationally. Um, I think the other thing is the, the spread of practice areas because it means that as, as a trainee you get to to do four different seats in four very different areas of law, um, which I think helps give them a really good foundation to build upon. And I suppose lastly is probably the people that they work with, because you've got people who are at the top of their game in terms of what they do and understanding the law, but are also incredibly down to earth and there's a very open door, friendly atmosphere within all of the offices. We accept applications um, from both law undergraduates and non-law undergraduates. So anybody who is keen for a career in commercial law, um, who I think has got the skills that are required. So on top of the intele intellectual and analytical ability, we look for people who are good team workers, good communication skills, um, ability to communicate with people on different levels, um, as well as having organisational skills, ability to prioritise their workload. <laughs> We can visit the firm's website, which is www.dlapiper.com, and from that you can access the graduate recruitment um, microsite, which is www.dlapipergraduates.co.uk. I recommend that everybody should visit their university law fair. Um, I think a lot of people go just for the good freebies, which is a great reason to go. You can pick up a whole year's worth of stationery when you're there, but actually it's the only time you'll get all of these firms in one place at one time so you can speak to as many people as you want to and it's a really good way to compare and contrast the different firms and um, there'll often be people there from graduate recruitment as well as trainees and sometimes associate and partners and you'll get a real sense for who those people are and whether you could see yourself working with them in the future. So, vacation schemes are a really good way for you to get a taster of what each individual firm is like. Um, you'll get a real understanding for the culture of the firm, for the people who work there, but also it will allow you to see what life is like behind the scenes. Um, it's very different hearing people tell you this is what life as a trainee lawyer is like or this is what life as a partner is like. When you actually get somewhere and get to see what goes on and speak to these people, it will just give you a lot more in terms of information to really make up your mind about whether this is a career for you. I think the biggest step is deciding that law is the career that you want to pursue. Um, once you've made that decision, I would really start doing some research because even though you decide you want to be a lawyer, there's a lot within that that you need to consider. Firstly, is do you want to be a solicitor? Do you want to be a barrister? Um, and then if you've decided that solicitor is the route for you, there's things around, well, what type of firm do I want to work for? What type of law do I want to do? Um, you know, high street firms, big firms, small firms, international firms, regional firms. Um, there's so much choice and opportunity available to you. So step number one would be do some research, visit the law fair, go to careers events, speak to your career service, go to firm workshops and do as much as you can by way of meeting people and talking to them. Get your hands on some careers guides, um, such as the Lex 100 and Chambers guide. They're written um, based on anonymous interviews with trainees, so again, they'll give you a very good unbiased view of what every firm is like. Um, and then after that, start thinking about the application process and how you can make yourself the best that you can absolutely be to get through each stage of that. 
For DLA Piper, we have an online application form. Um, once you've completed that and if you're successful, for our summer schemes, you'll be invited into an all-day assessment day, which is essentially an all-day group exercise. For a training contract, if you're successful through the first stage, you're invited in for a first interview, which will probably be with um, someone from graduate recruitment and an associate or two associates. If you're successful through that, you'll come into the assessment centre, which consists of a second interview, most likely with two partners, plus a couple of written exercises and a presentation. That list is probably quite a long one. Um, we look for people who are really quite well-rounded, who've managed to balance their work life with their extracurricular curricular activities. Aside from the intellectual ability, we look for people who are able to problem solve, um, but equally people who are able to manage relationships well, because ultimately a law firm is nothing without its clients. And as people progress through their career, the ability to maintain and build new relationships is going to be really important to them. Um, but we also look for people who I suppose fit in with our culture um, and people who really really want to do this because it's, it's a challenging career and I think to do it you need to be very very motivated. There's a lot you can be doing at this stage. Um, I think getting involved in as many different things as possible in terms of the actual extracurricular activities is a great place to start. So joining university societies, um, getting involved in things like debating, anything where you're going to develop skills and anything where you can then use those activities as examples in interviews when answering competency-based questions. Any kind of part-time work is also good and don't think if it's not law related it's not relevant because any kind of work experience is going to be good and help you in the long run. I think working for DLA Piper for me, it, it's probably going to come back down to the people um, and obviously the trainees that I recruit and look after. They're all incredibly down to earth and graduate recruitment is very high up on the firm's agenda, which actually makes my job a lot easier when the firm's so invested in it. Um, I get to work with people who are not only ahead of the game in terms of their career, but are actually very approachable and have always got good ideas and good suggestions about how we can improve you know, our marketing and how we can look to recruit and retain the best talent. When you come to DLA Piper as a trainee, you do four six-month seats in different departments. We don't have any compulsory seats, but obviously everyone has to do their one contentious seat, so this can be in something like litigation, regulatory. Um, in every seat that you go to, we ensure that you've got adequate training to do well in that seat. So the group and the department will organise departmental training. Um, and obviously we would look to assist you where we can in terms of developing your skills so that once you're qualified, you really are up and, up and ready to, to be a really great solicitor. Thank you.